Am I the asshole? For laughing in my friend's face because he said I'm financially abusing my boyfriend? My boyfriend, Matt, and I have been together for about 10 months now and he moved in with me about 4 or 5 months ago. I own my flat and I have a somewhat well-paying job. Matt just went back to school part-time, meanwhile working a lower-paying job. He pays for half the food utilities dates. I like to travel a lot, but Matt can't really afford it, so I mostly go with my friends, but he came with us for a little winter holiday after Christmas. After we got back, one of my friends David, who was with us too, came to me saying he wants to talk to me about Matt. David told me that he observed Matt during our vacation and what I was doing to him really wasn't okay. He saw that Matt was struggling to pay for things, often checking if he had enough money. David eventually said that it's wrong of me to expect Matt to pay for half of everything, since I make so much more than him and the fair thing would be to divide things based on our income percentages. Like I pay for 70 of the things and Matt only pays 30 instead of 50-50. David told me that I'm not allowing Matt to save any money of his own, trapping him in our relationship since Matt couldn't afford to live alone and that's financially abusive. I just laughed at David's face. This is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. I didn't really try to refute anything he was saying, because none of it made any sense. David got really offended angry disappointed or I don't know what, it was kind of hard to read and he said he expected better of me. That he came to me with a genuine concern wanting to be helpful and he didn't expect my immature reaction to it. It has been a couple days since this and I still can't wrap my head around it. I'm thinking maybe I should apologize to David for laughing at him as he really did look concerned, but WTF was he even thinking about? Am I the asshole? Edit I did make one point to David after laughing, which was that Matt lives with me for free, I only ask for half the utilities, which is less than 50 euros a month. I, on the other hand, have a pretty big mortgage. To this, David said that Matt lived with his parents before without having to pay rent. So that's irrelevant and I felt like there wasn't much more to be said. Info whose idea was it to move in together after only dating for 5 months? Not the asshole. You're not controlling your BF with your money, just expecting him to pay his way. David needs to mind his business. Not the asshole because you didn't even force Matt to pay for you or spoil you. Not the asshole you are not financially responsible for someone you only started dating 10 mo ago where there's no kids involved. He's no worse off financially than living with his parents. He chose to move in 5-6 months into dating you for convenience. He chose to go back to school rather than work full time and students generally are poorer than fully employed people. Laughing was tactless, but so is accusing someone of financial abuse just because they earn more than a new partner. You're not the asshole. David needs to stay in his lane and not tell you how to live or how to spend your money. He's yet another person who can be very generous with someone else's money. Did Matt even say anything to him, or did he just decide to make a judgment based solely on his observations and then appoint himself Matt's spokesman? Not the asshole. Does Matt want to be sugar baby or something? Y'all aren't married, it's Matt's responsibility to figure out his own finances. If he can't afford to go on vacation his ass should have stayed home or communicate with you that he would love to go but can't afford to and ask you to cover him. David needs to mind his own business and his own relationships. Can't believe how many YDEA comments are here. He's living rent free and has chosen to pursue education, which means money will be tighter for him for a while. Which is fine, it's a decision he made as an adult. It's not your job to supplement his life even further than letting him live rent free. I doubt people would be accusing his parents of financial abuse when they were letting him live rent free, just for not giving him extra fun money. Not the asshole. I pity David. He could have done so many things on that trip and went on to observe your boyfriend. It was so bold of him to stick his nose into your financial agreements. You're not and will never be TA in this situation. David is just one nosy man. Not the asshole David needs to quit watching others' pocketbooks. If if you feel the need, check in with Matt. How y'all divide money is up to you. Lamau I bet this guy is so insecure at the idea of a woman being the higher earner in a couple that he's projecting his frustrations onto someone else's relationship he has no business meddling in. Not the asshole. Are you preventing him from earning money? Are you unnecessarily forcing him to hand over the majority of his income to you for bills etc. Are you insistent on managing his finances for him? If the answers to all those are no, then you are not financially abusing him and you are not the asshole. Tell David he is more than welcome to support Matt.
splitting things equitably is the best option. If you already feel you're doing that then not the asshole. Not the asshole. But Matt should think about less travel. You go by yourself a few times. While he saves enough money to enjoy going with you. Instead of worrying about spending his last buck every trip. If you're meant to last this shouldn't be a deal breaker. If Matt had an issue he should bring it up. Who is David to talk about your financial business especially when you and Matt aren't married thus splitting finances? Not the asshole. Not the asshole, and frankly a couple's financial agreement is no one else's concern. I've lived one rent free and paid for half of meals out he paid his mortgage with a BF despite absolute disparities in income too paid all the rent while ex paid groceries and utilities he supported a child and now pay all of our common expenses and support my husband we paid half each of our last long holiday. The common denominator is that in all three relationships we both agreed to the financial arrangement. Maybe check in with BF to see if all is okay regarding your agreement. Not the asshole. He contribute half to the utilities. He contributes nothing to the mortgage. I'd say the financials are already split by percentage with OP paying like 80-90 of living costs. David is out of line. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. As a man. 50-50 is what it should be anyway. This whole percentage of what you make BS is just a way for someone to excuse taking advantage of someone else. Not the asshole. If you were a married couple, I'd say David was right. A lot of married couples change spending based on what a person makes. However, you're not married. You don't have any financial obligations to him. Additionally, you are actually paying more than him from what I understand. He's paying half of utilities, groceries, and dates but is not paying rent. Not the asshole unless you pressure him to go or spend extra when there. Not the asshole if you were charging rent along with utilities then your friend would be right it would be fair to do percentages but you are not asking for anything towards your property and are halving everything else, this likely means he is more avaliable funds that if you went the route, yes he doesn't have much money but you are supporting him enough he can go back to study to improve his earning potential. That is not financial abuse and I wonder if your friend is projecting from their own past experience. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You don't charge him rent. David is completely wrong about what he thinks is actually happening. Not the asshole this is a weird convo to have. Not the asshole and Dave is totally gay for Matt. Info does Matt have anything to say about this? No, no you are not an ah. I've been in Matt's situation making much less than my boyfriend. I simply sat down with him and explained that some expenses, like our vacation would be based on what I could afford. Worked out well, we are now rounding 25 year anniversary, and I thanks to lucky circumstances even make more than him. We still have 50-50 split of our common expenses. Not the asshole. No one saves money when they are working and going to school. They are a new couple less than a year together. It's unusual for someone to give such a new partner free rent, so what is David's issue? Not the asshole you let him live with you for free. Depending on where you live what can be anywhere from $700-1000 month savings. Whether he paid rent to his parents before living with you is irrelevant. What you could do is take all your shared bills mortgage included add them up and split in half. Then show he pays X per month when you could buy all rights ask why I'm out. You could even show what the 70-30 split he suggested would look like and show you are still saving him money. Of course it is truly none of his business but since he wants to accuse you of abuse you can prove this is not the case. Not the asshole. He's in school and you're not married. Why invest in something that might not pan out and he loves rent free? What more do they want from you? Not the asshole if David is so worried about it he can rescue your boyfriend from your evil clutches and he can pick up the financial slack not coming for your BF with my attitude re financial slack, just for David. Not the asshole. If it was truly a problem, Matt is a grown man and can bring it up himself. Does he not really work? Because if he's only paying for food and utilities, I don't see how he could be struggling with money when he's barely spending any. Not the asshole you chose to share your home with your adult partner not adopt a child. This says a lot more about your friend than yourself. Nah. You're not abusing him, but David wasn't an offer thinking you might be, merely wrong. Although I'm not sure flagging it up to the potential abuser is a good idea, so he was a dumbass two ways. Not the asshole, but it is what it is. I think your friend wanted you to be a little more generous to Matt, but it is not a responsibility you have. Not the asshole I was going to say otherwise until I read that he isn't paying you rent. If he is paying for only half food utilities and dates, 
that seems fair to me. Now, if you are expecting him to take you to extravagant dinners constantly, that would not be fair. However, I do not think there's anything wrong with him paying half since you're paying full rent. An appropriate response, you're in the clear. Not the asshole is this something you and your BF agreed on? Did you offer to pay for a vacation and he declined? If I were in the same situation I would offer if I could afford it, and wanted them to come. 10 months is close enough to have that conversation. He's living rent free? I mean you should be charging him something lol. You cute, I would love to not pay $2000 in rent a month? Not the asshole. Are you preventing Matt from moving back in with his parents? Have you encouraged him to cut contact with them? Alienated his friends group? Not the asshole. Someone once said the world would go much faster if everyone would mind their own business. David should probably try this. Not the asshole. If he's not paying for rent, then I don't see anything wrong with this. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. But me thinks per chance, Dave wants Matt. Not the asshole. But I think you should talk to your boyfriend about why he's using your friend as a mouthpiece. Nta. Humans have an interesting reaction to laugh at things when they are stunned or shocked. And for him to come so out of left field like that was absolutely shocking. Hess not even the one in the relationship so he shouldn't be saying anything to you at all, let alone accusing you of abuse. Not the asshole because of your Reddit comment, saying Matt doesn't help with the mortgage and lives rent free. This makes things more than fair.